Mechanism of Action of Amino Salicylates Amino salicylates include sulfasalazine and 5-amino salicylic acid. Sulfasalazine, a sulfa drug, inhibits folic acid synthesis. As such, folic acid supplements should be taken with sulfasalazine to reduce the risk of neural tube defects. Sulfasalazine exhibits anti-inflammatory properties when split by gut bacterium into its metabolites, sulfapyridine and 5-ASA, or mesalamine. The anti-inflammatory benefits of sulfasalazine are chiefly derived from 5-ASA, which has fewer side effects than sulfapyridine. As such, administration of 5-ASA alone may be preferred over sulfasalazine. 5-ASA is poorly absorbed by the intestines and systemic circulation. Thus, most remains in the terminal ileum and colon, or is passed in the stool. 5-ASA within the lumen primarily exhibits a topical effect on the colonic epithelium. Absorbed 5-ASA is extensively metabolized to N-acetyl-5-ASA by N-acetyltransferase 1, or NAT1. N-acetyl-5-ASA then binds P-par gamma, or peroxisome proliferator-activated receptor gamma, a nuclear hormone receptor. Binding of N-acetyl-5-ASA induces the translocation of P-par gamma from the cytoplasm to the cell nucleus and a conformational change in P-par gamma. This modification permits the recruitment of the coactivator, vitamin D3 receptor interacting protein, or DRIP, which interacts directly with P-par gamma. Heterodimerization with the retinoid X receptor, or RXR, occurs, resulting in formation of the PPAR RXR complex, a transcriptional regulator. The PPAR RXR heterodimer controls transcription by binding a regulatory PPAR gamma response element, or PPRE, and modulating the expression of genes involved in the inflammation process. PPAR RXR downregulates the nuclear factor kappa B, or NF kappa B, and mitogen activated protein kinase, or MAP K, to reduce production of pro inflammatory cytokines. This complex also reduces COX 2 activity, leading to a reduction in prostaglandins involved in inflammation. Novel agents with similar mechanisms to 5 ASA but which target PPAR gamma more efficiently and report a reduction of adverse events, are currently under investigation. For example, the compound GED050734 exhibits a 100 to 150-fold greater anti-inflammatory effect than 5-ASA. A new generation of 5-ASA, balsalazide, is able to bypass the small intestine and release a high concentration of 5-ASA in the colon.